Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. The Westmount Presbyterian Church partnered with the Right at Home Housing Society to build the first net zero church and social housing project in Canada. The church couldn't afford the utility bills for their old cinder block building. By partnering with the housing agency, they saved their church and created homes for 16 large immigrant families. Today, we meet one of those families. Hi, uh, my name is Tesfaye Jesus. I am from Eritrea. I uh, left my home country before 10 years, and I was in Sudan for eight, uh, for eight years. Now I'm uh, three years since I came from Sudan, and uh, I'm living in this building. The building is solar-powered and geothermal heated, built by the Right at Home Housing Society. Tesfesus Tekli and his family are religious refugees from Eritrea. I came to Canada because uh, in my home country there is no freedom of speech and the freedom of uh, uh, to worship or, or to uh, exercise my uh, belief or religion. I am from the Pentecostal Church and I was detained and put in jail for six months during the day of my wedding ceremony because of my uh, religion. So they uh, took us to the jail with uh, 95 uh, m- members of our church and our pastors, and they put us in jail in the military camp of uh, Sawa. After that, uh, they released us, and uh, we started to live uh, without freedom, no freedom. After being jailed on his wedding day, Tesfaye Asus was eventually released from jail in Eritrea. After that, they released us, and uh, I was forced to leave my home country illegally, crossing the border uh, of Eritrea and Sudan. Life was very difficult in Sudan. Many try crossing to Europe, but thanks to his religious connections, Tesfaye Asus found another way. Yeah, at that time, all the Eritrean people uh, who was uh, escaping from Eritrea and living in Sudan, they were going to Europe, uh, crossing the Mediterranean Sea, uh, and a lot of people were dying, uh, were dying in that uh, case, and uh, we got a sponsorship to Canada. After landing in Edmonton, Canada, it was very hard to find a home for his family of five girls. Before we rented this home, we rented another home and it was too expensive for us. We was paying like uh, 1800 including the utilities. And uh, at that time, I don't have a job, I don't have any income, so it was very, very difficult. Life was difficult for me. After that, I uh, got the chance to move to this house. And uh, from that time, I am living comfort, comfort, comfort. I am very happy. Thanks in part to solar power and geothermal heating, the utility costs are very low here. In Sudan, I was working as a bus driver, and here when I, I came to Canada, I can't do that job because of lack of experience. We are upgrading our language, and after uh, on December, I am going to finish my uh, course. After that, I am going to apply uh, as, uh, to work as an uh, ETS bus driver. And uh, hopefully, I will. It will be uh, okay for me. Tesfaye Asus's family now lives in an old, established neighborhood in Edmonton. I asked him what life is like there. Peaceful, and uh, for children, it is safe. My home close to school, and now I am very, very supported because my children are crossing the street and they get their school. And I am uh, surrounded by schools. And we are very happy and glad uh, being in Canada. It is, uh, for us, Canada is the land of opportunity and the land of uh, hope and freedom. This story really is a virtuous circle of sustainability. The immigrant families now send more than 50 kids to the school across the street, which has been saved from closure due to low enrollment. The solar-powered church is affordable to operate, and now there are homes for some of the same refugee families they sponsor at the church. Learn more, see photos and videos at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.